going to just kind of start with that. What does true gospel unity look like? I mean, it's everything. Like the gospel is the core of it. And yeah. I love how she um, fixated on Ephesians 2. Like I've been sitting there um, and just this idea that like it is only by Jesus yeah. Christ alone yeah. that breaks the hostility between the two in order mm -hmm. to present a new man that is unified in Christ Come Jesus on. by mm -hmm. the blood of the cross. And that's just everything. Yeah. Like if we're pursuing any um, agenda that's not the gospel, it's fickle, it's failing, it's temporary, it's not eternal. Yeah. And so why would we not pursue what is eternal, what is true, what is life, what is hope? Yeah. And so it just like, it amps me up because I'm like, man, that is everything. Yeah. And it's the reason why I'm not expecting the world to just all of a sudden walk in unity yeah. and reconciliation apart from Jesus Christ. Right. But the church, it's like, man, we were talking about this today. Like we know unity and love and truth by yeah. name in the person of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so might that be reflected in our hearts, in our communities? Yeah. Because it's the core of what's been done. Yeah. Like we have been reconciled to Jesus yeah. through the gospel. Yeah. And so might we extend that? Yeah. It, just, it just like literally is everything. And yeah. so it just like, yeah. oh, yeah. blows yeah. me away. Yeah. It reminds us that we have to lead with the gospel. Yeah. And one of the distinctive um, points that Jada made was not to lead with the issue, but to lead with the gospel. Yes. Yes. And I yeah. think so many people today are getting tripped up with leading with the issue and not the gospel. What do you guys say about that? I, I think you look at the gospel and it's messy. It, it, what Jesus walked through was so gruesome. And I think in our Christian culture, we just want to like slap a scripture on it, slap a prayer on it like we were talking earlier, just kind of make people feel good. Mm -hmm. And right now we need to meet people where they are. Yeah. People are hurting, people yeah. are broken, and we have to, what, what does the Bible say? Come as you are. Mm -hmm. I think Christians need to take that approach as Jesus would That's and good. come as we are, meet them in that place. Yes. I mean, even King David, he had to get in the dirt before he wore the crown in the palace. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to get in the dirt a little bit and approach it with such a meekness, a gentleness, and a humility to really show love like we're called to. Yeah. Not just yeah. like we do on a platform, but outside of the church. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, because it's like, man, the, the goal isn't just that people would become less racist. You know, like the goal is that people would meet Jesus. Come on, Gabby. Mm. And, and like, that's got to be it. Like we were, you know, talking about the woman who was, who was bleeding yeah. and she's yeah. just trying to grab the fringe of Jesus' cloak. Like there's a desperation to know God. Yeah. And as people are crying out, like there's yeah. chaos, division. People are broken, sinful, and crying yeah. out. Yeah. And they need to be introduced to the person of Jesus. 